What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fornal Marketing, and welcome to Liquid for Technical Marketers. Today, we're going to talk about liquid conditionals. This is a very exciting topic because it's one of the most powerful and most commonly used features of liquid. You won't forget conditionals if you practice them regularly. Let's get started. A liquid conditional is a block of code that only renders if the conditional statement is true. Or otherwise, code renders, or in other words, the code renders on the condition that the logical statement is true. That's why it's called liquid conditionals. So let's start with the most basic example, the if statement. And let's start by breaking down the anatomy of an if statement into the individual syntaxes. So liquid conditional is a type of liquid tags, meaning they'll be surrounded by the curly percentage symbol. So we start this if statement with curly brackets, percentage, and then followed by the word if. And then next comes our conditional statement. In this case, we our conditional statement is 7 is greater than or equal to 2, which is a true statement. Notice that we are using one of our comparison operators from a previous video. So we need these comparison operators to determine whether this conditional statement is true or false. So we put it together and we have curly bracket percentage if 7 is greater than or equal to 2 percentage curly bracket. And since this if statement is true, everything between this if statement and then this end if statement will be rendered. And that's an important note to make. Always, always end your conditionals with the end if statement. Every liquid conditional ends with the end if statement, which starts with curly bracket percentage, just the word end if in one word, and then per percentage curly bracket. Let's see what that looks like in Brace. So once again, here we have our curly bracket percentage, the word if, and our conditional statement, 7 is greater than or equal to 2, percent curly bracket. This is going to be our message or our code that's rendered since this if statement is, in fact, true. And then once again, that part is rendered because it is everything between the if statement and then the end if statement. And as always, every if statement needs a matching end if statement. Let's go ahead and test that. And we see that that does run successfully. Well, what happens if the if statement is false? Then what? Is that it? What if we wanted to add additional conditional statements to have a different message render depending on the different conditional statements? For example, let's move on to a more uh, practical example. So let's say we had a message for someone named Alan and we had another message for someone named Alina. How do I make sure that they, depending on what their name is, they get the right message? And that's where the else if tag comes into play. Else if is the words else and if mash together. And else if is saying, if the first or previous conditional statement is false, then try this next conditional statement instead. Let's take a look at that in Brace. So here we have a variable called name, and that is set equal to Alan currently. And our first if statement says, if name is equal to Alan, and notice the double equal sign comparison operator, then our message says, welcome, Alan. And by the way, now that we have else if statements, uh, the code is going to be everything between that if statement and then the following uh, conditional statement, which is the else if statement. So everything in here will be run. Uh, because our name does equal to Alan, we're going to see the message, welcome, Alan. Let's take a look. Welcome, Alan. But let's say that we are now talking to a different user and their name is, in fact, equal to Alina. What's going to happen in our liquid code is it's going to first check the first top if statement and liquid's going to ask well does name equal alan in our case it does not equal alan so it's going to say okay let's move on to the next conditional statement and see if that one's true so else if name equals alina our name does equal alina so now it's going to run everything between that else if and then the following uh following if statement which is the end if syntax so let's see what happens. Nice to meet you, Alina. And by the way, we call each of these conditional statements, we call them blocks. So I would see this as one conditional block. That is the next conditional block or specifically the else if conditional block for name equals Alina. Um, so here in this example, I would say we have two conditional blocks. So else if is what allows us to add multiple conditional blocks in our liquid conditionals. And there is also no limit to how many else if statements we can add. Lastly, we have what's called the else tag. 
else is the last resort catch all block that will render if all the if blocks and all the else if blocks above are false. And because it is the last resort catch all block, the else tag will always, always go at the bottom. Here's an example. Let's say we had a special message for someone named Alan and someone named Alina, but that's all the messages, the personalized messages we had prepared. So if your name is anything besides those two, you would get a more general message without a specific mention of your name. That is our plan to put the more general message inside that else block. Let's take a look at that embrace. So we have our two messages for Alan and one for Alina, but let's say uh, the user's name is Benny. And now this user does not qualify for the first if statement where name equals Alan. So then we check the next one. And then we also say else if name is equal to Alina is also not correct. It is also false. So then because we run out of both if and else if statements to check, now we move on to the else block, the last resort catch all block, which should just say, thank you for joining us without a specific mention of the name. Let's take a look. Thank you for joining us. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.